This year, I decided to do the project, the classic, attach your camera to a weather balloon and send it to the upper stratosphere experiment. Well, before I uh, took on such a big project, I decided to do some small-scale experiments. Um, I bought a very cheap, very tiny camera, which couldn't withstand the temperatures at the upper stratosphere or run long enough to make the entire three-hour journey, but it would be good enough for some small-scale testing. Here is the camera itself. As you can see, it's very small. It's also very light. It's about 14, just over 14 grams. Um, or, and, and this can be lifted by about four uh, average-sized helium-filled party balloons. So what I did is, because I didn't want to have retrieval be a very big issue, or I didn't want to have GPS attached to my little contraption, I actually just tied it onto a fishing line and let it go up, um, but holding on to it with fishing line, and then I reeled it back in. Um, I, start, I had eight balloons with this camera, so there were four balloons worth of free lift, and that translated to about 750 feet of fishing line, because as it goes up, it's carrying more and more of the fishing line and gets heavier and heavier. So, this isn't such a big project, but I thought some of you might be interested in, in seeing it and uh, seeing the footage from the ground and seeing the extremely shaky footage from on the, weather balloon, from on the balloon, not the weather balloon, on the balloon. Um, there are definitely some kinks to figure out about how to make the video not completely shaky um, and nauseating, but here you go. One, two, three, video, it should be videotaping now, so... Here it goes. Video. It should be videotaping now. So, All right, here I am at the end of the 750 foot long spool. And this is what the sky looks like. You can't even see the balloon. Now I'm gonna crop in there and try to find it. All right, here's the view partially cropped and you can see a tiny little speck. And that is the balloon. I've cropped it as much as it'll go and you can see that tiny little speck. And here is what the camera on the balloon is seeing when it is that tiny little speck. It's already gone well past the end of the field, and which is already quite far away, and you can actually see a little trail in the woods there, because um, I was doing it at, in a park near our house. So there you go, mini balloon camera.